Hello everyone, my name is John Dalrymple. I'm the Electronics Training Manager here at Allegion. And in today's video on dashboards and alerts, we're going to investigate some of the ways that you might use your uh, Isonus Pure Access Cloud software to monitor conditions in your facility on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. So let's go ahead and log into our software. Choose our tenant. And you see we have a dashboard that comes up. We're going to get to that in a minute. First, let's look at alerts. So if we go over here to the bell, there's an alert. And what we want to do is make some alert settings. Now, in my system, I only have one door that's online. It's, the, it's what we call the desktop demo. It's become the sales entry door. Uh, so I can't do anything about the door being held open too long. Uh, I don't. I can automatically clear the alerts. I don't necessarily want to, and I could disable alerts. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all for disable alerts, except credential rejected. If a credential is rejected, that's the, an event that I can show you here today, I can get the system to generate an alert. Okay, so I've, I've chosen that. Um, and I could, if I wanted it to, I could have it email particular people, but uh, let's just, uh, for now, uh, we'll just assume that that's not there, but that's simple. People who are web users can be, get email alerts because we have their email address. And the email alerts we can get would be related to a rejected credential. Okay, so that's what we're going to be able to do. We're going to save that email alert. And we'll go back to the system activity setting because here on the desk board down at the bottom, we can see uh, a history. This is what's going on in our system as we go along. And so first I'll just show you a credential that's valid. That one was granted access. You see, and Tom Jeffries was there. Now I have a credential that isn't valid. It hasn't been programmed into the system. I should get a credential rejected, right? Declined, credential not found. And if we go to look at our alerts tab, we'll see that that in fact did show up here. And then I also got an email uh, to drawing my attention to this. Now, the first thing I might want to do when I get an alert is acknowledge the alert. So that acknowledged the alert. And then when I'm all done with it, I could clear it out. Or if I wanted to download that information, I could click on download here and it would write it to a CSV file that would be on my computer and I could go um, use that information so I could download information. So that's basically how alerts work. I mean, obviously we may not necessarily care about credentials rejected, it would be more like uh, things like the door's been held open too long, somebody forced the door open, some type of event like that but you'll notice that it uh, draws your attention to it and uh, cause it gives us something that we need to deal with. So that's the topic of alerts. Let's deal with the topic of a dashboard. And a dashboard is simply a desktop that uh, has information on it that's displayed. Now, this is a dashboard that's been built by default. We can customize it by simply going here to the plus widget Give this thing a name and let's call it the showroom entry or the showroom door. And perhaps we want to have history about everything that happens here on the showroom door. And we can create that. It's that simple. So now every time somebody presents an access credential, you see what's going on in the showroom door and you're able to monitor it on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. Uh, that's, that, that's somewhat useful. I could also, let, let me get this one out of our way here. I can also resize these widgets so that I can get more information in the screen. So maybe this displays a little bit better. But let's say I don't want to look at just the history. Maybe I also want to 
um, do an access point admit. Choose the access point I'm going to do an admit for. And so now, um, when I want to let somebody in that door, I just pick admit and it unlocks the door. And you see the history is going on down here in the bottom. So that's probably pretty large for that widget. Let's make that widget a little bit smaller. Maybe fit our, our desktop real estate a little bit better. This would be a way for me to let somebody in the door, of course, who wants to come in and, um, you know, they don't have an access card. Well, maybe in addition to that access point admit, there's another type of widget that we might want to look at. And let's just edit this one then. And we'll change it from an access point admit to a user profile. Again, choose the access point that we care about. And we'll save that. And so now, as various users come up to the opening and present their access credential, we'll also show who it was. In this case, it was Tom Jeffries. And if we had a photograph on file for that user, then that would show up here. And just to remind you where we would put that, we will go to Jeffrey's Tom here, edit him. And this is where we would have put his picture. And whatever we put in there for his picture would have shown up there. So just to remind you that that's how that works. Go back to our dashboard. So you see there are a number of um, of of different types of widgets we could put there. Uh, I'd encourage you to experiment with these, find one that suits your needs, and just remember that this is a desktop that's available to you. If for some reason you wanted to change the name of this dashboard, you can go over here and change it, and you know, we'll just say it's AAA Import Autos. All right. So I hope that helps you, give you a little bit of an overview and a look at the, the topic of dashboards and alerts. Uh, I encourage you to, um, you know, experiment with it. Find the one that works the best for you. Get comfortable with it. And uh, again, if you have any, any problems that you want to, or any concerns, you can reach out to us at our technical support line. 877-671-7011, or you can also find information on the website at us.allegion.com or at allegion.com forward slash us. Thank you very much for joining today. Have a great afternoon.